Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an update on my Ember mug that I have had for two years now, a little over two years. Um, you guys have seen me use this in my videos uh, when I'm doing my makeup, when I'm reviewing things. I love this. So, I mean, if you've been following me for a while and you, you've watched my other Ember mug videos, you know I love my mug. But I did want to do a two year wear and, ta uh, wear and tear review on this mug because a lot has happened since then. So let's go ahead and get started. So I own the copper version and mine is 10 ounces. This mug comes in 10, two sizes, 10 ounces and 14 ounces. I own the 10 ounces and that's big enough for me. I'm gonna go over some pricing um, details on this mug and the different variations because this can get a little confusing. When I first bought this mug, there wasn't this many options and so things have, <laughs> the Ember Company has grown a bit. So I just kind of wanna concise this for you guys and make it really clear for when you navigate the website, you're not confused. Um, so let's go ahead and start off with the difference between the original Ember mug and Ember, the Ember 2 mug. What I have is the Ember 2 mug, not to be confused with the Ember mug. <laughs> prices are very different. Also, the prices vary with the color. So because I own the copper version, that falls under their Ember mug 2 metallic collection. Okay, and if you buy the 10 ounce mug under the metallic collection, that's going to run you $149 with 95 cents. If you purchase the 14 ounce mug under the metallic collection, that's going to run you $179 with 95 cents. And the metallic collection actually comes in four colors gold, rose gold, silver and copper which is the one that i own their original color line used to only be black and white um they've added two more colors over the past two years and so the original line comes in red black white and and gray um, those as well now come in 10 and 14 ounce sizes and the prices for those are a little less than the metallic collection. So let's run prices for that. So for the, I'm looking down on my notes, so for the 10 ounce in the Ember Mug 2, their original colors, those run for the 10 ounce is $129 with 95 cents. And for the 14 ounce, you get those for $149 and 95 cents. So they are a little bit cheaper than the metallic collection. In case you were wondering, they just come in different colors. Now in this line, they recently launched the red mug. And if you purchase the red mug and I'm going to go ahead and quote this off the site, part of those proceeds, uh, go to, goes towards strengthening healthcare systems and supporting equitable access to testing and treatments. So, um, basically they created the red line um, to collaborate and you know send proceeds to pandemics in general whether that's covid aids whatever any kind i guess of pandemic is what i was able to understand on the site if you know more about this than i do leave a comment down below but that's what i was kind of able to get and just a quick 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 synopsis on it in case you purchase the red mug you know a little bit about that whole line. Now let's get into really quick the facts about the Ember 2 mug and what you're getting when you purchase this. So with this mug, the 10 ounce 
has a one and a half hour battery life versus the 14 ounce gig gets you 80 minutes of battery life so there's a bit of a difference there they both have auto sleep which means that it knows when to turn on and off it can just sense like when there's nothing in here um no liquid in here so it'll turn off um the travel mug which is literally the tall one with a lid on it that one has the longest battery life it has three hours of battery life i don't own the travel mug just because i am waiting for them to come out with either a copper version of that or like the rose gold one another color i don't want to purchase it in black but if they do because i've been asking forever for them to come out with more colors i'm gonna purchase one of those um it does have a smart led light here that you can actually customize and pick so this one is turquoise i have it set to turquoise which means that if let's just say you and whoever you live with like if you have more than one of these mugs in the same color you can actually customize your led light to show you which one's yours um which is super smart um so you have the smart led light um it will turn red when it needs to be charged so when it's out of battery it'll turn red and when it's fully charged it'll turn green so that's just a quick synopsis now when you purchase your mug you get a coaster a matching coaster in the matching color of your mug and the bottom is rubber so that this doesn't move around. You obviously get the mug and you get the charger, which looks like this. It's pretty bulky. I know people have complained about the size of this, uh, but honestly, I just flip it upside down and I plug it in that way. And that way I can still use the bottom um, outlet. And then this will um, just plug into the back of the coaster, like so, okay? I actually keep my coaster on the windowsill uh, where my sink is. I have a window right above my sink, and that's where I keep my ember mug. However, um, I work from home now and so I don't keep it on my desk because I don't have the space for it. Um, my outlets are mostly taken up by my computer and you know all the cables that go along with that. Uh, but if I worked in the office I would definitely take this to the office and keep it on my desk. Reason being is your battery life on your Ember mug actually um, last longer when you keep it on the coaster and it'll like you know prevent it from um it'll prevent your battery life from wasting away when you keep it on the coaster with that said because i don't have you know my ember mug on my desk i have it on the windowsill my mug spends most of its time outside of the coaster which is the reason why i bought the ember mug anyway uh because i actually walk around my house to different parts of my house with my mug i can sit on the couch i can sit at my desk i can get ready for work and have my ember mug and it always keeps it at whatever temperature i want the temperature for these mugs ranges from 120 fahrenheit 120 fahrenheit to 145 fahrenheit celsius would be 50 celsius to 62.5 celsius i my preferred temperature is 145 if you like your coffee piping hot this is not going to be a mug for you uh, my mom likes her coffee like borderline boiling and so this mug wouldn't work for her because 145 fahrenheit is not going to be hot enough for her um and so i find 145 to be my perfect temperature but i do know that 145 um fahrenheit is a little too hot for most people so do bear that in mind 
I love this mug. I've loved it uh, the moment that I bought it and uh, a lot has happened since then. So this is not the original mug I bought. This mug was actually replaced by Ember and I'll tell you why. So the first thing I want to tell you before we get into that little story is the bottom of each mug that I have received has gotten that um, dark ring around it. And reason being is I, once I'm done drinking my coffee, I don't always wash my mug immediately. And because I like to keep it at the highest setting, uh, when I am done drinking it, yes, my mug knows when to turn off, but remember the mug is still hot. So what happens is it actually um, starts to continue, it's still hot, so whatever remnants of coffee is in your mug it's going to continue to be very hot until the mug naturally cools down hence why it starts to create that ring on the bottom it the paint on this is not lifting or you know anything like that i also only wash it with the soft side of the sponge not the you know um hard scratchy side of that sponge and you w when you read the care instructions on this it tells you not to submerge this in water um and you to use the soft portion of your sponge to wash this because that hard gritty side can cause the paint to lift on this how with that said the paint on this is very durable i wear lipstick as you guys you know can see and i always get lipstick on this and i wear some pretty strong you know high-end lipsticks uh, that are pretty opaque and it has not lifted the paint from the mouth top the top part of the mug intact now let's move on to why my mug was replaced so in my experience um by the way this is not sponsored ember has no idea who i am and i bought this mug with my own money so no but like they have no idea who i am like i have 2000 subscribers i don't receive pr you're not going to see an affiliate link under uh you know my description box so I'm not getting paid to say anything and any of this i'm just giving you what my experience and what happened to me so you guys take it with a grain of salt but um the issue i had with the mug was one day i put my coffee in it and i put it like i took it off the coaster and i put my coffee in it now i use a french press so initially my coffee comes out really hot and so what the ember mug will do is it will um just keep it at that 145 for me but what i was noticing was that when my when i would put when i when i would put my mug on the coaster it would act like it was charging but then all of a sudden the little light would turn red as if it had no battery but when i would go into the app that would show me what my battery life was i had full battery on the mug but the mug wasn't actually keeping its temperature um unless the app was open so if i had the app open and my mug was on the coaster it would keep the temperature so the mug would be working essentially right but the moment i would shut like um just you know exit the app it would not continue to work which is not the way that that functions whether or not if you have full battery whether or not your mug is on or off the coaster whether or not you're in or out of the app this mug is supposed to keep the temperature of your coffee and it was only keeping the temperature of my coffee when it was on the mug and my app was turned on so i messaged the ember team through their text um help and they asked me to send in a quick video of what was happening because they i guess hadn't encountered that problem before <laughs> um so they asked me to send a picture of the pins because sometimes these pins can um 
become damaged with the constant like putting on and off. Um, and they asked me to send a picture of the inside of the mug and a picture of the rings on the bottom of the mug, okay? And so I did all that and what they ended up doing was, I believe, in my personal opinion, and I'm not a tech person, so you can correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong, but I really believe that there was a glitch between the app and the mug. I don't necessarily think there was ever anything really wrong with my mug per se, um, but because they tried to tr troubleshoot it, and um, what they did was initially they sent me a new coaster. I got the new coaster and I hooked it up to the cup, the same thing was happening unless my app wasn't open it wasn't working the app was updated like my phone was you know the um like my i have an iphone so the whole iphone system had was up to date as well which matters by the way in case you didn't know didn't work they ended up sending me a brand new mug and so they sent me a brand new mug and that took some time and then there was like an update in their app so by the time i got the new mug i had already done the update for the app and everything just started to work normal again um with that said the durability of these mugs are amazing but besides that the customer service of amber is amazing and that was not the first time I had contacted them about an issue uh, with the mug and they were extremely helpful their response time was quick um, they didn't try to make you jump through a thousand hoops they kind of just are very straight to the point send us a quick video of what's happening they watch it and they're able to assess it from their side and help you with that the first issue i had with the mug was actually um i had to troubleshoot the mug because there was an issue with the bluetooth uh connection and they were able to help me with that and they were quick it was easy i'm not a techie person i'm i am so bad when it comes to technology very dense in that area and they were very good with me uh very patient they really broke it down easily with that said for two years of having this mug and using it every day i just rave about this mug like if you buy this you are not going to regret it granted when i bought this mug they were not this expensive i when i bought my mug i bought it at bloomingdale's with a friends and family like during a friends and family sale and i only paid 80 dollars for my mug which back in that time like two years ago paying 80 dollars for a mug was is still expensive but we know that inflation has it's just crazy right now so everything has gone up astronomically and so with that said i if these prices are too high for you i would wait ember constantly runs sales bloomingdale's constantly runs sales target also sells these mugs and they are constantly running sales uh they had a really good black friday deal where the mug was like 99 dollars uh, and I think that that's the cheapest I've seen it since I bought it uh, two years ago. Now, a lot I get a lot of comments of people uh, saying, oh, I could just use like a coaster warmer and get the same thing with my ceramic, like regular ceramic mug. Um, sure, you can, but you are tied to that um, coaster warmer. I didn't want to be tied to the coaster warmer because the moment I pull my mug off of that coaster uh, warmer, the temperature starts to drop and my drink. And I, again, I travel around my house with my mug. So that was the reason I wanted the Ember mug. I could be in my bathroom doing my makeup. I could be doing my hair. I can be working at my desk and then pick up my mug and go sit on the couch for what a break whatever my coffee is still the same temperature you would not believe how convenient that is 
because I am not somebody who drinks my coffee really fast. I babysit my coffee and so I was that person that was constantly having to put my coffee in the microwave and it was so annoying, so annoying. Um, and then when, before I owned this, I would use like those thermos, like Yeti thermos like uh, mugs. I'm not gonna tell you how many third degree burns I got with that because it always kept my coffee too hot. And so I was always afraid um, to take a sip and I burned my, I burned. The scars I have on the roof of my mouth are unmatched from, from the third degree burns of those thermoses. So um, why I decided to get a mug versus their travel mug that has like a three hour um, shelf life Mostly it was because I was working from home. So I bought this during the pandemic and the travel mug is much more expensive than the act the actual uh, mug. And so I was like, if I'm gonna try this out, I'd rather just get the mug version <laughs> versus the travel one. So that's what I did. And um, I like my mug because I don't know about you and this is just a per personal preference. If I'm home, I like to have my coffee like in a mug. And I like how that the outside of this mug does get warm. It doesn't get hot. It does get warm. So you still get all the feels of holding a mug, which for me matters. That may not matter to some of you, but it does for me. So that was the reason I purchased this. Now, if I happen to go back to the office, then I that's the reason I want that travel mug because I do I don't live close to where I work. So my travel time is quite long. And so that travel mug would come in handy, but I love the fact that it's I know that I can trust it and I'm never going to burn myself. So I am waiting and I have been waiting patiently for two years, Ember, for you to come out with more colors uh, and the, the travel Ember mug. Yeah, you guys need to get on that, okay? Because you've expanded your metallic collection and your mug two collection the past two years and now one new single color for the travel line. I'm not happy, so get to it, get to it, but yes. Um, that is my review on the wear and tear of this mug. There's now accessories for this. Um, there's like a lid now that you can put on it, but I don't want a lid. The, the lid I, it extends supposedly like the battery life or whatnot. I don't, I don't want a lid. I, if I bought a mug is because I want to use it as, as a mug, not, not with a lid. I don't, I don't know. That's just me. But that is my overall review of my mug again i use it every day this thing is a workhorse of a mug and i have the 10 ounce which is more than enough for me and i'm glad that they took out the 14 ounce one because i feel like most people drink more than 10 ounces of coffee in the morning um not me i just do the one the one cup and that's fine for me um, but I love this. I honestly, I can't rave about this uh, more. So if you were thinking about it, I understand that they've gone up in price, but with the amount that I use this mug and their amazing customer service, I think that the mug is worth every penny. And when I have forgotten to charge this or I've gone on vacation because I don't take this with me on vacation, I I miss it. I really do miss it. Um, and so I think that buying this mug is just for those people who babysit their coffees. Like if you if you babysit your coffee and you have to put it in the microwave three or four times a day, this is for you. All right, that pretty much uh, completes this video. Uh, of my review uh, wear and tear over the last two years. Uh, do I use any kind of special soaps when I wash this? Absolutely not. I just use what I have. Um, and this is just, it just stands the test of time, honestly, because I use this so, so much. And for all you moms out there, mm, tell me how many times you have to heat up your coffee because you're interrupted. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I like to know because when I became a mom and I I've, I've forgotten to charge this, 
<laughs> I've put my coffee to heat up at least eight times. At least eight times. And then I'm just, I'm, cur I'm cursing. A lot of curse words running through my mind because I'm like, how do you, how did you forget to just put it on the coaster, Isabel? How did you forget it? How did you, it's something so simple. Mira, mira, just, how did you forget to do that before you, before you went to bed? Yeah. So, highly recommend. Leave me a comment down below if you guys have had yours for longer than I have. And what are your thoughts? Like, what has been your experience? I would love to know. But that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and have a lovely weekend.